Matthew 10, verse 5. These twelve Yahweh Shai sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, and as ye go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. I want to start off by giving all praise and honor glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, which are the true holy names of the Heavenly Father, who you people ignorantly call God, and His only begotten Son, who the people ignorantly call Jesus Christ. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to you, brothers, to the four corners of the earth, preaching this word and laboring this word in truth, love, and sincerity. Let's reread that again. Matthew 10, verse 5. These twelve, Yahweh Shah sent forth and commanded them, saying, which is talking about the disciples, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, which are you heathens, all you heathens that are non-Israelites. You are the Gentiles that the Lord is speaking of, telling the twelve not to go into. And into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not. So the Lord said, don't go in the way of the heathen. Okay, in other words, don't go into the city of the Samaritans, enter ye not. But go where? But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And that lost sheep of the house of Israel consists of who? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American and Seminole Indians of Negro and Indian descent who lines go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And also, I may add on, you Israelite foreigners, okay? You Israelites that are scattered amongst all the different nations, okay? Like the Lord told us that will happen to, that will happen to us, uh, the curses for not obeying his word, that we, that, we, that we will be scattered through the four winds. You confusing the face, Israelites, because a lot of you Israelites look like these other nations. You speak like these other nations, meaning uh, their languages, and you also take on the customs of these other of, of these other uh, nations. So you may think as yourself as a uh, someone of another nation, but if your spirit, if your spirit draws you to this word in all full truth faith and sincerity, the more than likely you're an Israelite. Okay? So, this is not just for you Israelites to take on uh, you know, we'll say almost like a a common look. You know? But it's also for you Israelites whose spirit uh, uh, draws them to the word. Alright? And, it's, and it reads, it says, And as you go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. So, he told the Lord, told his men, the twelve, the disciples, to not only don't go to, into the way of the Gentiles, but in, in the city of the Samaritans, but just go to his people. Showing you that the Lord is only for his people. You see, his people, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay? The Lord is for his people. He's a separatist, okay? Regardless of what you people think, the Lord, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, is a separatist. This is a separatist, this is a, us making a separatist statement, if that makes any sense. But this is a separatist sa statement right here in the New Testament, so going rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, and as you preach, and as you go preach, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. To who? For I me, mean, for who? Who, who, uh, who? Who's the kingdom for? Israel. Okay. Let's get a. Uh, another one. All right, so 
The next scripture. Matthew 15, verse 24, and it reads, But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So it's being reiterated that the Lord came back for the Israelites. He's not sent to no one but the Israelites. <clears throat> he came for his people. Let's go. Matter of fact, let's prove that. Matthew 2, verse 6. And uh, we'll start at 5. It says, Matthew 2, verse 5. And they said unto him in Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not the least among the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor, for out of thee shall call, come a governor that shall rule my people, Israel. You see? And who is that speaking of? Our Lord, Yahweh Shai. Okay? Let's go to Matthew, the first chapter. Matthew 1 verse 20 But while he thought on these things Behold The angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream Saying Joseph thou son of David Fear not to take thee Mary Thy wife For that which is conceived in her Is of the Holy Spirit And she Shall bring forth a son And thou shalt call his name Yahawashai For he shall save his people from their sins. Who is the Lord's people? The Israelites. Okay. He's not sent into who? The lost sheep of the house of Israel. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You are the lost sheep. Okay. You are the lost sheep that the Lord came for. What part don't you people understand? You, you, you people need to wake up, man. And guess what? We're going to keep reiterating these scriptures, okay? No matter how you, uh, you, you so-called or you so-called Christians feel, okay? You so-called uh, Catholics, Mormons, uh, 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 Jehovah Witnesses, you know, all that other madness that you people are into, right? We don't care about your feelings. We don't care how you feel because it's about what the scriptures say. Your feelings don't have doesn't mean nothing okay it's useless Jeremiah 50 verse 17 it reads it says Israel is a scattered sheep the lions have driven him away first the king of Assyria have devoured him and last and last this Nebuchadnezzar of the Babylon of Babylon have broken his bones so now I just told you who this sheep was. Israel. Okay? Again. Israel. There's another one I wanted to get. Uh, I believe it's in... Let me see. Uh, Acts. Acts, the first chapter. Uh... <clears throat> Is it uh Slakia? Um oh yeah, here we here we go. Acts 1. We'll start at the uh first chapter. It said the former treaties have I made O Theopolis of Al that Yahweh shall began both to do and teach until the day is which he taken up after the after that he through the Holy Spirit had given commandments unto the apostles whom he have chosen. To whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by infallible proofs, being seen of them forty days and speaking of things pertaining to the kingdom of the Most High. Let's jump to six. Get the point. When therefore were come together, they asked him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? Now, how can you get over that? Let's read that last part again. Saying, Lord, Will thou at this time restore again, 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 the kingdom to Israel? The kingdom to Israel. 
back then they knew who the kingdom was for, Israel. And at this time, we're, uh, uh, our people were under the uh, the Roman province, providence. Okay, we were under the Romans at this time, and they wanted to see, or they wanted to know when they were going to be uh, uh, basically almost saved. Okay. In other words. They, 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 they knew uh, of the prophecies. They knew uh, uh, that the Lord was going to come back. And they knew the Lord fit the prophecies. So they asked the question. They said, Lord, will thou at this time restore the kingdom of heaven to Israel? Because they thought it was going to happen in their time. But they didn't know that uh, uh, there had to be more things to come. There had to be more things to be, to be fulfilled. Verse 7, it says, And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power. Okay? So when we keep going over these things, we're letting we're showing you people through the scriptures, right? Through this, through the spirit, that the Lord is dealing with Israel. Okay? He wasn't sent, he was sent for his people only. He died for his people only. Okay, for repentance for, for repentance and forgiveness of sins for his people only. Okay? This is all for the Israelites, okay? What part don't you people understand? Then you try to use these scriptures. Well, well, it says the Gentile and it says the Greek. Well, if you knew the history of what was going on, you would know that them Gentiles, okay? Them Gentiles dealing with salvation are Israelites, okay? They were Israelites in a Gentile state of mind. In these other lands... Right? In these other lands, keeping the laws of these other lands, not keeping her not keeping the ways of the Lord. Uh, growing up in these other lands, keeping their customs, uh, you know, doing all manners of wickedness, idol worship, okay? Not uh not circumcised, you know, all types of madness, okay. But through faith, through faith and through the hearing of the word and, and believing, right? On Yahweh Shah. They were being brought back in. And that was the problem. This, this is the argument you found in the New Testament with the Jews, the Jews that was in Judea that was keeping the laws. Okay. They looked at the Gentiles, which they knew that they, they were their people, but they looked at them as, as no people and, and as and as heathens because they wasn't keeping the ways. They wasn't keeping the uh the ways how they the law, statutes, and commandments, okay. They was following the ways of the heathen, the customs of the heathen. So it was the it, it was a problem with the circumcision, which was the Jews, with the uncircumcision, which was the Israelite foreigners that wasn't keeping the ways, the law, statutes, and commandments. You know, living amongst the Greeks, calling themselves Greeks, living amongst the Romans, calling themselves Romans, so forth and so on. Okay. But again, the kingdom was for Israel. <clears throat> We're gonna, I'm gonna wrap this up because it's not gonna be too long. I just wanted to make a quick a lesson and reiterate and show you people through scripture how the Lord is coming for his people. Okay. Acts 5, verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. That God of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shah, who you slew and hanged on a tree. For him have God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior, for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. Now, where do you see everyone at in this? Where do you see everyone? Where do you see all nations at? You're not going to find it. Because it's specifically speaking of who? Israel. Okay? Israel. Period. All right. Uh, Mark 16, <clears throat> verse 15. Because this with this clown, this this this, this uh, plantation Christian, try to use this verse, and and all Christians, okay, try to use this verse. Let's say that the Lord came for all people and preached to all people. When it's all people, it's dealing with Israel, all Israelites, okay? 
Mark 16 verse 15 And he said unto them Go ye into all the world Why go into all the world Because the Israelites were scattered to all the world Okay Look at all the different curses Okay Look how many times that the Just type in scatter And you see how many times the Lord said uh, That we will be scattered Or that we were scattered Okay For not obeying the word Mark 16 verse 15 And he said unto them Go ye into all the world Go ye into all the world And preach the gospel to every creature Now it's beautiful Yahshua Wamba just made a point About how all the different creatures the Lord made So what creature is he talking about? Okay What creature? I'll get it for you Second address Eight. Verse 54 says It's like 45 Be not wroth with us But spare thy people And have mercy upon thy own Inheritance For thou art merciful Unto thy creature Who is he speaking of Who is who's the Lord's inheritance The Israelites And we'll prove that and close out Okay I just wanted to make this a short lesson. Deuteronomy 32. Verse 9. It says, For the Lord's portion.